Hello and welcome, I'm Nathan for 2 and this is SketchUp Tutorial. Uh, I think it's actually like 22 or 23 now. Uh, we're getting quite far with this stuff now. Uh, there's quite a bit of it that we have covered with uh, with SketchUp Make. So what we're going to do is just want to start off by triple clicking this uh, this object here. Uh, it will select everything. I'm going to move that out the way. So we'll just come out and we'll drag it over here somewhere. Somewhere out of the way. That's fine. Okay, so we would like to create uh, two points on the map with an arc tool. Two point arc, here we go. So we'll go here, we'll go here, yeah about here. Then we'll pull it out a little bit, just it's got a nice little curve on it. Just want to create a cool little thing. Um, so we could do that, uh, and then we want to get the offset tool. We'll do that, and then we can just drag it out a little bit, like so. Ding. Okay. Let me just grab the pencil tool and join these lines up so we have a face. It does this. It's always a little cut and pass, isn't there? Uh, like that. And now we have a face. What can you do with a face? You can extrude it upwards or downwards, preferred, uh, depending on how you like to extrude it. Um, okay, so now we have a big curvy wall. That's cool, right? Um, I'm just going to extrude this out a little bit. <laughs> To make it easier later on. Okay, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just grab this, just click, and we'll move this back over. We want to move it probably from the center to about the center of this. Why is it not moving that way? Okay. Okay, so it's a bit awkward to move things in here sometimes, but it doesn't really matter. So we move that down. We move that down like that, so it's on the blue axis. It stays in the shape, so that's pretty good. There is a weird line here connecting it. That's fine. I'll just delete that. It's fine. Um, okay, so so right click that. We'll go into the faces with selection here. Now, what we've done is we've kind of merged the two together. Um, but what it has done is created a hole here where the actual faces of this connect. So uh, we want to use the eraser tool now just to remove this thing, get rid of all that crap, there we go, and keep going again, there we go, and you can see we have a, the shape is now laid out on here, so we'll do that for the back as well, let's get rid of all this crap, now we have that shape on here, uh, and because this is done this way, we can just click this, delete, delete, and now we have a hole. Uh, which is exactly the same as the one that we created earlier, except it's on a really cool little curved block. So I don't know, if you have like a logo for a company or something like that, and you want to create that on this big curved block thing, I think it looks pretty cool. The only issue is now all the faces on the inside are inside out. So if you just use the orbit tool to kind of look around, you can grab all the faces, control click them, right click, reverse faces. Now it should be in the right way, apart from, hmm, it's hard to tell sometimes with these. Are these faces reversed or not? There we go, that's fixed it. Okay, so that is about it. That is how you uh, intersect objects. So I mean, you can do this with a, a whole host of different things. Uh, oh, I mean, if you wanted to kind of cast something into something else, it would look pretty cool to do it this way. There's other things you could do with it. Um, I can't really think of any off the top of my head though. Things like this, things like logos for businesses, maybe if you had something on your desk. I mean, it looked pretty cool to have a logo like that on your desk in a big bit of glass or a big bit of 3D printed plastic, I suppose. Uh, and this is actually what I'm considering when I get my 3D printer up, actually making that. Um, yeah, so don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, that's at Nefield42. Uh, don't forget to share and um, also, post in the comment sections below uh, if you'd like to see other things next or what you'd like to see next, and I'll take a look and see what I can do.